peace to the family. Let me see if I can shed some light on things. Okay. That's pretty good. I just gotta talk a little sideways. Get damn, I thought I just had light. Okay. It's been a while. I've been doing a lot of traveling. In fact, I've been to three different cities in the last three days. I've been to three different cities in the last three days. It's been pretty intense. Yeah, I know. I've been gone for a minute. I had to... I went to Brooklyn. I was in Beverly Hills. I had to enjoy that because I was in Miami for damn three months flying back and forth to different places. So I was in Beverly Hills and then I flew out to Brooklyn on an invite from Jim Jones, and the diplomat. And we had Fabulous there and the locks and everybody was doing a concert at the Barclays Center. And that was dope. It was an amazing experience. But then I had to fly into Las Vegas right after. So intense intense schedule <clears throat> we got a busy week uh we got two more classes left for the master class friday class number five will be going down on friday and you'll get the updates this saturday will be the entrepreneur class so this saturday you have the entrepreneur class that's going to teach you three mild streams of income it's really for parents and children but if you're not a parent or a child you still can take the class and you'll be able to make about one to three thousand dollars uh on a month-to-month -month basis from what I teach you. You get a PowerPoint presentation and you'll also get instructions. You know, I, I named this stream I'm Too Smart to Be Broke in 2020. Not another year of struggle because our people have a tendency to procrastinate. And if you look up the word retardation, it's literally, uh, it literally means to stagnate your growth or hinder your own progress. To stagnate, stagnate your growth or hinder progression. That's what retardation means. Words are very interesting because they're commonly used the wrong way or out of context. And then one day you look up the word and you go, wow, that's what that means. So then you have to ask yourself, well, are you retarded? Very good question. Or have you been behaving like you're suffering from retardation? All right. So, yeah, the email, I pinned it to the top this time very early. Brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T 45 at gmail.com. I actually have a meeting I have to go to very soon. Brother P O L I G H T 45 at gmail.com. Brother Polite 45 at gmail.com. Okay. And you leave your full name and your phone number. Never leave an email without leaving your full name and your phone number. Leave your full name and your phone number. Brother Polite 45 at gmail.com. And that's for your consulting. When I do the consultations, it's 200 an hour, 300 in person. When I do the consultations, that is for when. When you make the payment, I send you some questions. I get debriefed on your specific interests and needs. And then what happens is in my evaluation, I devise a curriculum that caters to you. And that's how we optimize the experience. Because in doing so, I don't have to ask you some of those questions during the consulting for the first time. So we can actually just add value and move forward. So that's what's powerful about the consulting. Peace to you from Cincinnati. I was actually with a sister yesterday from Cincinnati. Peace to you. It's one of the few places in Ohio I haven't been. I'm not too big a fan of Ohio. You know, I'm, I'm an active city guy, vegan guy. So they lacking. But I like I love the people though. But yeah, so that's how the consultations work. The entrepreneur course again is two hundred dollars discounted rate. The price has to go up this week. Okay, we gave people more than enough time. We actually prolonged it a week for people. Uh, that course will be taking place this Saturday. On Friday, we'll be doing the second to last class for the master course. The master course is 225. Um, I got some extra instructions for you guys for the master course and for some gray areas. I told y'all I'll go on the live stream, do it free, and help y'all out with the gray areas where 
it suffice. So the master class is two hundred twenty-five dollars. You know, it has to go up to three hundred. We've we've left it at the discounted rate forever. But if you're serious, you email, you leave your full name, your phone number, you purchase the master class. The master class consists of you learning about real estate, tax lien, tax deed. And our main point of focus is credit restoration. We do have a complimentary holistic mathematics class. Our main point of focus is credit restoration. Those of you that joined the course, you know you have 33 PDFs that are templates, letters, and affidavits that are sent to credit bureaus and financial institutions alike for the purposes of removing negative items off your report and adding positive items to your report. That's right. How many times does someone let you know you can add positive items to your report? And then in addition to that, you also have what? will help you get lines of credit, whether it's for your credit card, personal loan, or business loans. We'll show you the techniques. So step by step, you get the PowerPoints, the PDFs, the templates, instructions entailed, involved, and also the videos that correspond with the same. The videos are very complimentary to the paperwork. The paperwork is very uh, straightforward. It's not nuanced. You can look at it and you can say, okay, I see it. All you have to do is put your name and the address. And a lot of times I have the addresses right there for you for where you got to mail your stuff off to. So it's very self-explanatory. What I need you guys to do, because there's been some questions, some of you that are supposed to get the landline that helps boost your credit score and also corroborates the testimony of that new mailing address. Remember, your mailing address has to be in an area that's over 200, that's making over $150,000 a year. You have to get a new mailing address that's in that type of neighborhood, and it has to be FedEx, UPS cannot be United States Postal Service, can't be a USPS box, PO box, can't be none of that because you won't get no credit on your report for that. The goal is to get credit to raise your points on the report. Okay, you do it this way, you'll get 30 to 50 points added to your report inside about two months or so, three max. Okay, it'll boost your, your credit up. So you need to get a mailing address at uh, area where the average income is over $150,000 a year. Okay, so that's important. You need a landline, and I want you to see how you can tie in the phone with the address or zip code that you're going to set up the mailbox. So I'm going to give you the site. It's called Vonage.com, V-O-N-A-G-E.com, Vonage. Vonage.com. Okay, go to Vonage.com and set up a wireless landline and see to it that it corresponds with the zip code that you're setting up the mailbox in. So everything is in order. So they run concurrent. If you can, you get as close as you can to it. Okay, so that's important. It's very important. All right. Boom. That's very important. All right. So we need that. So I need you to go to Vonage.com. Those of you that are in the course and those of you that are about to buy the course, these are some preemptive strikes towards better days for 2020. The reason why I'm going so hard, because when 2020 comes, you don't want to be entrapped. When 2020 comes, you don't want to be stuck. All right. You don't want to be stuck. Okay, so go to Vonage.com and set up that line, set up that landline. Also, you go down to your secretary of state and get you a number for your fiction and go back to the bank and set that up. It's not that you're going to do major business with it, but if you're having problems doing it the best way, which is to purchase a trust. Hold on real quick, family. Yes, peace to the family, pardon me. Okay. Savage, I've been meeting people with the name Savage. Are you from Africa? Two of my homegirls got that Savage at the end of their name. But anyway. How are you supposed to get an address if you can't use a P.O. box? I said, go to FedEx or UPS. That's where you're going to get your mailbox, your mailing address. They allow you to open up a mailing address at FedEx or UPS. So, yes, you can have a mailing address outside of the United States Postal Office. 
I hope that answers your question. You might have missed that part. Get a Vonage. Go to Vonage.com and make sure you set you up a landline service. If you emailed me and you didn't leave a subject, it's probably why you ain't get a response. If you emailed and you didn't leave your full name and phone number, you probably didn't get a response. And please, let me say this too. Don't email us and then say, I didn't really expect you to contact me so fast. Expect contact as soon as possible. And if you get it a day later or a week later, it happens. But don't say, well, you know, I'm not really ready because I, I was... W- how are we supposed to know when to call you at a time that's not so early but not so late? If you touch base with us, don't waste time saying, well, I'm not prepared. I didn't expect you to answer that quick. A lot of people do that, so don't do that. That's not necessary. You touch base when you're ready to make it happen because you got to remember, for the calls that we're able to take, it's that much calls we're not able to take because it takes time talking to people. So talking to people is a very tedious process process especially when people are not straight to the point cut and dry getting down to business okay uh let me just ask you this that and the third and boom sometimes people add a whole lot and i understand people are excited and they got things that they want to do okay but you know um you got to keep in mind minutes go by very quick so even if i'm just on the phone with somebody for seven minutes it's almost torture because i may only have a 35 minute window 45 minute window to talk to people So now there's only 5 people damn near If I'm talking to everybody 7 minutes So I do my best not to rush people but to be efficient So I need you to participate in that efficiency So we can touch base with more people And obviously people like talking With me directly as opposed to my administrator So I do my best to see how many people I can talk to on a day to day basis But go to Vonage.com and you get your Phone number And lock it in with a zip code That runs concurrent With the mailing address the landline is also going to add points to your score now i was talking to you about a fiction and i want you to go to a fiction you go to secretary of state you go in your downtown area you do the math and give you enough information to do so and you get you a fiction get a get a number of a business identification number tax identification number do your thing but just let them know you want to create a you want to create a, a a fiction and you go back to the bank with that number. And this is for the people who can't afford to get a trust. I'm doing my best to see if I can move you guys forward. And you create this business. It's temporary, but it's a business nonetheless. Set it up with the bank. Once you set it up with the bank, report to the bureaus that you have officially opened up a business for the purposes of eventually uh, transcending or transitioning from a sole proprietorship. Okay, you'll see it in the course. But at least get the get the number, go to the bank, set up that fiction. That's the cheap way. Go to, right down to Secretary of State, uh, apply to, to open up a business, ask them, tell them you need to uh, get a business identification number, you need to set up a fiction. Get Take that number, it's going to be a little paper or two, take that to the bank, set that up, and now take those same copies confirmation of that and confirmation the account being set up actually wait till you get your first piece of mail from the bank account that you set set up wait till you get your first piece of mail from that or print out your first bank statement okay so you don't necessarily have to wait for the mail you can wait until your first bank statement comes print that out annex that till you have not set up the account and now you're going to add that as a positive record to your report. That should give you another 35. Sometimes I've I seen somebody go up 60 points. We don't know if all 60 can be accredited to that. But we do know it will put you between 35 and 50. I'm really looking to see if the 60 is consistent with that as a max. But I do know you get 35 to 50 points for adding a new business to your credit report. That responsibility, that behavior. You can add that. And raise your points up So I give people enough information That no matter what kind of hell they've been through They still can go up about 150, damn near 200 points Just following my instructions Get 5 points here You know, get 35 points there, get 50 points there Get 50 points there, get 20 points there Alright, the landline is going to give you 3 to 5 points The landline with 
the new address, now that's take you over 50 points. Okay? Uh, even if you got a credit card already, perhaps you want to use a secured credit card. And the reason why I say you might want to use a secured credit card, even if you got a regular credit card, secured credit cards report quicker for whatever reason. The reporting is a lot quicker, a lot more efficient, and is a lot more impactful. You purchase a, you get you a secured credit card. And see if you do one with Discover. Discover, they was, they, they, they locked in with the credit bureaus. It works out pretty good. Yeah, so you go to brother P O L I J S T forty five at gmail dot com. Brother, oh uh, thank you, J Megan, for concurring, for confirming. I'm on point. That's what's up. Brother P O L I J S T forty five at gmail dot com. If you're interested in purchasing the entrepreneur course, where I teach you three streams of income. The money's small. You make about one to three thousand on a month to month basis. It's designed for parents and children. So children can set up their own income streams or parents that just need a little additional money in the household. But you don't have to be a parent or a child to reap the benefits. And that's the $200 course. And that's the discounted rate. It's supposed to be $300. And then you have the master course that's still going on. We're doing the master course, the second to last class this Friday. You'll get the update. This Friday, you'll have the second to the last class. This Saturday, you have the entrepreneur course taking place. Okay, of course, the price would be higher then. You buy it for the discounted rate. If you're ready tonight, you're good. You contact us. You leave your full name and your phone number. Always leave your full name and your phone number. So I hope that covers some of your gray areas. What you're going to do with that fiction as well after reporting it is when you finally get your trust. And if you do buy the trust, you still can get that fiction for dirt cheap, pennies on the dollar. You're going to go down there. In some cases, you get it for free. Okay, so I'm showing you how to set up a business without having to pay a bunch of money. Okay. And then report the fact that you set up that business to boost your credit up 35, 50 points, possibly 60. Roderick, you got to stay focused. I'm only talking about this money for 2020. I'm not talking about uh, that other stuff, uh, what, what other people are talking about, uh, discrediting other uh, leaders like Malcolm. I'm, we got to get to the money, brothers, 2020. And a lot of people went through this whole year and still didn't get it right. We need to get the people right. We have to focus on the situation at hand. I, I would actually implore that all leaders find a way to get our people to individually achieve some monetary success. Because anything that our leaders need from you, most times in results and you having to separate yourself from your dollar. So it behooves us to empower you with the ability to make more money so that way you can help us in our revolutionary feats. Go always replay classes after you missed it for the courses. You have a business already, you can report it and as a, and add it as an item to your credit report. Okay. So that's why the name of this is I'm too smart to be broke. I'm too smart to be broke in 2020. Too much information circulating out here. Too much opportunities. If you ain't got a, if you don't got access to the information, if you don't got access to the information, that's because you listening and watching to too much confusion and unnecessary data. You taking heed to too much of the unnecessary. It's a fact. That's a whole fact. You might be out the loop. When you ask me how do I report it, I have the PDFs and everything as part of the master class. When you join the master class, you get the PDF temp that are templates. You get the PDFs that are templates to letters and affidavits that go out to credit bureaus and financial institutions alike. Here's another thing you got to do. And I'm going to do a reminder on these things right now when I when I really get situated. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, also, make sure you ask contact checks systems. Those of you that's in the course and those of you that are 
uh, keeping up to speed. You, those of you that's in the course, I realize a lot of you are missing this part. Contact checks system, C H E X, checks. Contact checks systems. And let them know you want a report of everything that they've been reporting to credit bureaus about your banking business. So take a look and see if, what they have been reporting to other banks. I mean, to credit bureaus. Go to contact check systems and, and ask them to submit to you the reports they've been sending to the credit bureaus about your banking history. Take a look at it. So then you know what you need to agree and disagree with. Because sometimes, a lot of times, the confusion, why your report ain't going nowhere, is because of the data that check systems is soliciting, but it doesn't readily, it's not readily available on your credit report. So when you go to Credit Karma and everything, you're looking, you don't see what's actually causing the stagnation. Why are you not being approved the credit cards? And when you are being approved the credit cards, why are you not being approved for amounts of grandeur? Okay, so you got to go to checks systems. No doubt, Roger. Okay, Ricardo, please, bro, try to keep, you know, it's one thing when I haven't touched base with people at one point or the other, but you got to, I know you're always soliciting that, that gold stuff and everything, but sometimes you just need to stop and listen to the information that's coming through so you don't miss that. We're giving you plenty of times on the YouTube. Sometimes... And instead of soliciting something in the middle of someone giving some some information, you know, you, you might want to consider these people here mess around, read just stuff, and they be like, oh shit, and then they miss something, and they may not have the time to watch the video two, three times. Sometimes you got to give people their space to do what they got to do. Thank you, Robert Taylor. The info you are providing is a hundred percent correct. Thank you, brother. Yeah. So you contact check systems and say, hey, I want, I want the data that you're sending to the credit bureaus. I need to see that. Also, you need to contact LexisNexis. Those of you that's in the course, those of you who are taking this information serious because the goal is to make sure you can get at least two credit cards, $50,000 each. Boom, do your thing. And, of course, we got the mentorship program, program but that's more expensive. It's obviously way more money gets made in the mentorship program, the conscious advisory. But... That's what I'm coaching you 12 times a month, three times a week, 30 minutes at a time. Uh, it's just way more extensive. That's for the heavy hitters who, who's just like, look, I'm ready to go forward and go hard. Yeah, I hear you, Ricardo. You drop your knowledge. The only problem is you do it in a chaotic way. You take advantage of the fact when I'm streaming, dang, let me drop that. Why don't you do it on your live? And make it the theme so people can focus on that at one time. Because to attempt to take people from what I'm talking about to what you're talking about is a bit undermining. And I only say that because I got to talk to you before. So I would expect you to be more respectful because I talked to you before. If I didn't know you, I'd be like, yo, I'm, I'm used to people randomly soliciting what they're selling. Because they're like, hey, Polite gets a lot of views. So let me see if I can intercept people and get them to pay attention to what I'm talking about. But this is actually very important, brother, because people might be missing a few of the steps for those people that pay for the course and those people that's that are about to buy the course i like to give them some some moves that they can make because it makes it easier when they take the course and they did these things or they're aware of these things they have to do so when they buy the course it's like they already know this is a course that has plans of action it entails plans of action and they will be doing the footwork so it's no knock to you it's all love Quentin Thomas, I appreciate your appreciation. Word. So, um, see, now I'm distracted, but I'm on point. I know exactly where I have to go. Lexus Nexus, you need to contact them and say you want the data that they have been sending to other people. Because the data that Lexus Nexus sends to bureaus about you is predicated upon Lexus Nexus conceptions about you, reservations about you, I should say. Lexus Nexus is used to identify the predictive ability of those who will be loaned to. In short, how risky it is to give you anything. So you need to see 
These are the things they're not showing you on a credit report. But these are the things that impact your credit report and your inability to receive large loans or larger lines of credit. So what you need to do, because they don't hide it from you, you just don't know to go get it because no one's telling you. Contact LexisNexis. Lexis Nexus, spelled with X's. Contact them. Say, yo, I want to see the report. It's free. Contact them and see what they're telling other people about you. So those are two things that I also found that people are missing. I need you to retrieve that data get those reports peace ricardo to get the course is pinned to the top you just text i mean you email brother p-o-l-i-g-h-t 45 at gmail.com you got to leave your full name you got to leave your number and you got to leave a subject oftentimes people are like yo i contacted you you didn't leave your number I contacted you. You ain't leave a subject. And I'm going to tell you why the subject's important. Because a lot of times, there's a high ratio of when people don't leave the subject. There's a high probability they're not even contacting us about the course. They're all over the place about something else. Whenever people don't leave the subject, they're not even really going to talk to you about what we got focused on right now at hand. And then that kills the administrator's time. Because they got different things they do. It kills my time. And then I got to be respectful to let you know, family, when you was told to reach out at this number, you're a light-skinned Puerto Rican with blue eyes, can you take advantage of the program? I'm not sure if you're joking, but I'm going to take it serious and say yes. Simple as that. Repeat the checks. Frank Rods, you, you contact... Checks Systems, spelled with an X, C-H-E-X, Checks Systems. They're the ones who report to the bureaus about your banking activity. You might want to stop them from doing that. There's a number of reasons why. Number one reason being that it's impacting your credit and it's stopping lenders from giving you larger lines of credit because they got access to data about your activity per your bank account. And they're expecting you to regulate the activity in your bank account reminiscent to that of your credit card. In other words, they want you to have a utilization ratio for your bank account between 15 to 30%. In other words, they expect you to have X amount of money constantly in your bank account and for you to only use 15 to 30% of your monies on a month-to-month -month continual. Many people can do that that are very wealthy. Many people could do that that's wealthy. People that are not wealthy, they can't afford to not be using most of the money that they get week to week because they damn near living check to check. So you need to nullify that. Hey, I, I don't want to qualify for that type of data to be sent. It's your right. It doesn't make you look bad. All you're saying is you're not in that income range for that to be used to your advantage. You don't have to be subject to things that are not advantageous to you. Okay. I hope that answers your question. You never paid off anything for your credit report. You feel like it's going to be a dead end. Then you're not listening to anything. You're just sad and you're depressed. And I understand, but that's not going to get you nowhere. The course addresses these issues. You have to do something. You can't sit here and not be part of society for the rest of your life. Because you're going to be sad. And if you're sad... Being sad about something is incentive enough to change the situation. So if it impacts you emotionally to the point it brings you down, then you must come up. Thank you, Don Smoker. Said I'm legendary like Malcolm. For the business, you go down to your Secretary of State, your downtown area of your community, and you just tell somebody, are you looking up online, yo, where do I go to, to get a fiction? I need a number corresponding to fiction so you can go to the bank, give them that number so they can set you up a incorporated business that you didn't have to pay for or you paid pennies on the dollar for. Then you're going to annex your first account summary to the data proven that you set up you have an actual legal fiction and you're going to send that to the credit bureaus with one of my PDFs that stipulate 
you want to add this item to your report. You want to add this item to your report so you can boost your credit score. See, so rather than paying somebody a whole bunch of money, you pay that. You pay the Uber to get there. You might get it for free depending on your city and state. You might pay $15, $20, whatever. It's not a lot to ask to get your credit to go up another 50 points or so. Whether you are in debt or not. You gotta play the game. Yes, you go to brother P O L I J T forty five at gmail.com. And it's all love. It's all love. Just doing Q and A for the most part. It's all love. So we'll be conducting the second to last class for the credit restoration master course this Friday. And then we'll be conducting the one day course, entrepreneur course, where you learned about the three different incomes. Um, and like I said, it's a it's a humble amount of money, one to three thousand dollars additional a month. It's not a lot. But if you're interested in that, it's designed for parents and children to learn how to make monies off of those income streams. We're doing it this Saturday. And we're just preparing people for 2020. Because things are going to get more rough and there's hyperinflation and everything like that. So We're looking to go to the airport for Mayu. Um, I'm not the Uber or taxi. I'm not an Uber or a taxi. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, so. <laughs> Damn. White folks see you in the limousine truck. Think you work for somebody. <laughs> uh, belief. You know, it's like going to the supermarket and somebody asks you if they, you know, for help, like you worked in. You'd be like, you want to say, man, motherfucker, do it look like I, I'm wearing something that. That's just Walmart on it. <laughs> Stop. I ain't got no damn logos or stickers here. Just doing it big. I ain't got to be working for nobody. God damn white folks, man. Always try to bring you back. Always try to remind you that you ain't nothing. Try to reinforce the idea you are nothing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And see me talking on the phone at that. I'm mean, here looking like, yo, if you see me talking on the phone disregarding you, you must know damn well I ain't working because obviously I don't care about your money if I'm over here. Disregarding the fact you keep staring in the car. Let me show you a picture of this fucking white woman. You know, it's the... Yeah, she go right there. White privilege ass white woman. We can go follow her and bother her. Now, let me stop. I'm joking. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, they see you. They see you moving around. They see them three rows in a big trunk and they just feel like, you know, you owe them something. You know, they see you in them, them $150,000 things and they feel like, you know, you must be working for something. The, the only next thing that you could do is think you stole the damn thing. It's so hard. It's so hard. For them to just accept the fact black people are coming up, even if they're not ball players and rappers. God damn. For real. Yeah, I should do that. Actually, can I buy some roses off of them? That's that's the new shit I'm doing in 2020. I'm start pulling up on white people and randomly asking them to serve me as if I think they're at work. Cause they dress like they work for somebody anyway. They dress all raggedy and shit. And then niggas be trying to tell you, yo, you gotta be like White people, you know, wear raggedy jeans and sneakers. No, I don't have to do that. It ain't that deep. That's just part of the, the dingy culture of that shit. I'm, I don't have to fucking wear raggedy clothes, you know what I'm saying, to prove a point. Black people do shit their way. White people do their things their way. Everybody don't. They're not the standard. One minute, we're supposed to be proud to be us. And the next minute, you don't see white people do that. Why you do that? White people don't show off the money they make. I'm not white. No, why are you telling me what white people don't do as a black man? Like, I'm supposed to follow what they do. I, I like the swagger of black people. I like the fact you're making some bread. Show that shit. Show what you got. I love that. Damn shame people be mad at it. I love it. Show me what you got. Motivate me. I love it. I love to see my people doing good. I love them to get, see them getting nice trinkets and toys. I don't want to see them infatuated and overly consumed by the superficial. That I don't want to see. I don't want to see them put material above morality and their friends and family. I don't want to see that. But damn it, I, I love, love, I tr tremendously, emphatically, I love seeing my people have. I love it. Yeah. 
Now, if I was in a different time in a different mental space, I, you know, I, I would have hustled out the car. Okay, where you need to go? That'd be seventy dollars. <laughs> if I was hustling, but I ain't out here no damn truck running no cab for nobody. These people are crazy. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. But yeah. I know that shit is dark. I thought the lighting would have been different. What I should have did, I should have went back here. I should have figured it out somehow. I should have did the lighting somehow a little different. Uh, we'll figure it out. Can I spell that fiction? Nah, just fiction. As in a fictional story. Fiction. Say you want to set up a fiction. Or a legal person. It's a corporation. <clears throat> but the type that the type of entity that they'll give you. It'd be free and you can set it up at the bank. It's nothing like the trust. But it's just something to get you off the ground. You make it happen. Yeah. A fiction. Just say you want to set up a fiction. Or a legal fiction. Or a person or a legal person. Or even an entity. They don't understand you say fiction. They don't. I don't they must that must be new help. But you set up a fiction and you be good money. That's good to hear, Roger. Open up those businesses. Now nah, it's all good at Lisa Carter. Samson, you just touch base when you're ready, brother. Polite 45 gmail.com. You know, that trust is what it is, where it's at. The trust is making your money, is making your bills cheaper, your light, your gas, your utility, your rent, your mortgage, your car note. You protect your assets with it. It makes your bills cheaper because you're projecting to eventually be able to hire other people one day. So concessions are going to be made to you because you're going to put people in position to pay taxes and go into debt, get credit cards and pay for student loans. So whoever's helping other people get in that situation by participating in the game of life, they're going to make certain subsidi subsidies for you. They're going to make things cheaper and easier for you. That's why the trust is amazing. In addition to being able to receive that revolving line of credit, because depending on how many income streams you've entitled to the trust and how equitable you make the trust in, you'll be able to get a revolving line of credit of 30 grand to 100 grand upwards from the trust. Okay, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot, man. Make sure you share this video with, with people you care about to encourage them to level the freak up. Encourage them to level up. Look at this. Everybody else is with the culture, man. Whole damn pyramid back here with the bat signal down here. Look at that. Everybody else is with it. Everybody else is on that time. <clears throat> Look at that. They ain't playing no games out here. They with the culture out here. We playing with the culture. They manipulating it. It's, woo. Look at that. I just like being around the pyramid. I just like it. I love it. But I'm about to get to my next engagement. I just pulled over to do this real quick. I had a little window of time and opportunity to build. So why not build? If I got time to add on, I'm with it. I love to add on. Love it. So I'm going to talk to you guys. I love and appreciate you a whole lot. Thank you so much for your support. As always, jst45 at gmail.com. Addressing the conscious advisory. That is the most expensive, most grand dog. That, of course, makes you all the money and all that. Cool. I'm too smart to be broke in 2020. That's what I want you to say to yourself. First of all, you should be saying, I'm too smart to be broke. Because you are. Listen, if 95% of Americans don't have wealth, that means it's that much more easier to have wealth because it's not like a large line towards becoming a millionaire or very wealthy. If most people are not wealthy, then it means it's easier to be wealthy than it is to survive being poor. It actually costs you more money to be poor than it costs you to be wealthy. So once you become wealthy, things become cheaper. 
I could prove it. I need to do a class on the more wealthy you are, the cheaper things become. The more poor you are, the more expensive things are. So the information I be sharing a lot of times is information that has been shared with me amongst wealthy people. And I just add on between my studies, personal experience, as far as execution is concerned, and just getting words of advice from people that's just in a very privy space, privileged position that share the information. The combination of those things had me so edified that I'm able to create my own packaging and say, look, these are the things you could do for free to just get the ball rolling. So a lot of times when you see me do my streams, I'm always taking the time out to say, yo, this is free. Or look, that's just an Uber ride. But look, just get that out the way now. Just do it right now. Take your life serious. Do something. When I do these streams. The reason why I do it, like I said, sometimes people be like, man, I paid for the course. Why are you giving up all these shoes? The course has an extensive amount of information. You're not losing nothing by people getting some free information. Let them do the stuff that's free just to get the ball rolling. Just to help people know that they're doing something and, and about their situation. You got to you gotta give back to people. You got to allow people to get some momentum. Got to allow people to get some momentum. Got to. It's kind of cool, this lighting. It's almost like stage lighting. So, brother, P-O-L-I-G-H-T-45 at gmail.com. That's how we doing it. Peace and many blessings to you guys. I said I love you. You put your full name, your phone number for consulting, the entrepreneur course, master course, or the conscious advisory. Tired of talking, tired of being broke. Keith Johnson, I hear that. You ready? Go ahead and don't say, hey, I'm not prepared. I emailed you, but I didn't think you was going to contact me that quick. Don't do that. If you're ready to get it in, I'll touch base with you. In fact, I'll touch base with a few people right now on the strength. Because I got a few more minutes and I'm good. Polite says, buy three times before he actually leaves. <laughs> you know that. I don't be wanting to get off. Uh, that's true. I always be like, yo, I'm signing off. But uh, yeah, I love you. I'm signing off. I really appreciate you. I'll be on that. Peace. I love you guys. Keep doing your thing.